All right, welcome to this brief tutorial on editing the letterhead. I'm, uh, I'm going to show you a few things you can do here. Let's begin with the logo itself. I'm going to select the text tool and we're going to change this. We're going to customize your logo and customize the company name. We're going to call this my company and uh, let me just zoom in a little bit. Uh, might help if I'm on the, on the document. There we go. Okay, so we are going to begin by changing this to M for my company. Now, if we select the whole thing, this, I don't know if this is only on a Mac or if it's on PC, but then when I type something, it substitutes the font. So, um, I always type the letter after the character that already exists so it retains the font information. So I'll type M. Now I just have to backspace, get rid of the A. There's our M. So I'm going to highlight it, change the font size a little bit, make it look a little nicer, and then let's just drop it down. It sits a little high in there. So there's our logo for my company. I'll grab the text tool. Same thing here. If I select the entire line and type, it will use font information that comes before that line. So I'm going to select everything after the first letter so it has the correct font information my company and now we'll just backspace that C out of there. You can change your, the address in here, do whatever you want, it's fully editable. Uh, the fonts contained, and, and, and the same is true of the body copy, just click on it and um, select what you want and type what you want, it's fully editable. The font information, there, there, are, there are two fonts and these are free fonts that are used in creating this document and uh, these are the links so you can just copy so control C or go, uh, I believe it's edit copy, yeah, there it is. So control C to copy and paste it in your browser window. It will take you directly to a, a web page that provides Source Sans Pro font for free. Same with Mob. Um, just so you know, the M and my company are using the Mob font and all the rest um, is Source Sans Pro. So now that takes us to the graphic on the bottom of the page. Let's uh, let's just zoom out and show you again what uh, what the letterhead looks like. So we've show I've shown you how you can change the information up here, the body copy, and now we're on to the graphic. So let's zoom in on that graphic a little bit. Okay. So what I haven't shown you yet is that we've got this is the layers palette. This here, this little triangle, that is the logo. So when I drop the triangle down, there are actually three layers that that um, comprise that this logo is comprised of: the outer shape, the background color, and the font. But you don't really need to worry about it because if you click on the the A and and change it, it will automatically select the layer, the text layer. <coughs> so getting into the graphics now, uh, and just so you know, this the next the next layer, the second layer is my company. That was the information pertaining to your company beside the logo. This third layer is the body copy, and now we're going to deal with the last two layers. Um, this, basically, this graphic has a window in the phone that displays whatever's behind it. So in other words, if I turn off this bottom layer, you'll see it's showing through the window in the graphic, and it's displaying it as, as if it was displayed on a phone. If I, if I turn off the graphic layer, you'll see what's behind it, and it's the graphic that's displaying in that window. So now, let's, let's change the graphic. If, uh, if this letterhead is being sent to a painter, obviously you don't want to tell him that he can save 20% at Bob's Cafe. So let's, let's, um, let's use a painting graphic. I'm going to bring one in right here. So there we go. I will choose the Move tool, and now I will go to the layer, and I will bring that in. There we go. Now, it has dropped it in the layer, uh, in the logo, one of the logo layers, so we don't want that. We want it right in the back. Uh, actually, maybe one above the existing one. So now, I'll close the logo layers. Now you can see that if I turn it off and on, you'll see that A1 painting is there, but it's not positioned correctly. So, um, I, can, I can drag it down but the problem we have is that it's a little too large. So we want to resize it. Um, I'm going to turn on guides. So let's go view, show guides. And these guides are in place to help us position things where they belong. So we want to resize this, 
this A1 painting layer. And so we go layer, um, scale layer, and now just so you know, I already know this because I messed around with it, we want it to sit at about 247 pixels by around 370. So if I change the size, and you want this little link uh, not broken, in other words, if it's like this, then when I change the width, it will not change the height um, relatively or, or, or together with it. So if I click that chain, you can see it's a whole link, uh, three links now, and so when I change this first, uh, change the width to 247, um, and then I click, you can see it automatically went to 371 for width, and I scale it, it should be the right size now, and I, am, I have the Move tool selected. I click on that layer, and I can position it however I like, and I can even, you know, I'm going to hit 2 on the keyboard to zoom in a little more, and we'll scroll up, just to make sure, and I'll hide the, I'll hide the guides so we can see clearly, and I will also turn off the phone or the uh, restaurant layer in behind, so now we'll see a gap if it's not lined up, so you'll see what I mean. If I, if I go down, you'll see there's a gap showing. So we want it centered, and this is looking about right. So now we've replaced the graphic, and if I zoom out, you'll see that the letterhead now is is geared towards a different a different customer and it's as simple as that um, just swapping out whatever graphic you want or don't want in there and um, putting a different one in so that's how editable this is and it's really straightforward so uh, I hope you have fun with it